There's our guy. There's that Bentley boy. What you doing, buddy? He's a big old dog. Huh. You're a big old guy. Yeah, you're a big old guy. Anyway, we're on our way out here because we just got two rabbits. We're going to try our hand at raising rabbits for meat. So, these rabbits, they're not any purebred or anything like that. And we could be doing everything absolutely wrong, but... Um, trial by fire, I guess, because we're attempting it. So, I'll take you out there and show you what we got going on. This is our female, and um, the fellow we got her from said that she was a Flemish giant mixed with Rex. So, who really knows? He wasn't for positive sure, he thought. This guy is our male, and he's not quite so nice. He's not been handled at all. But he is a Californian mix. And you can kind of see that by his coloring. He's trying to get rid. Just sl slide the whole thing in there, maybe. Huh? Yeah, just let him come out on his own, I guess. There you go, buddy. What do you think? So we're just going to keep touching him and trying to get him more used to people because this will be our breeding pair. And then eventually we may want to get into some purebreds, but um, I didn't want to go to that big expense until we kind of got a feel for it, see what we're doing. So there's our male, and there's our female. Well, good thing we built the big house. Or now. Look what we just got. Deal of the century. Three registered and tattooed. Californian female rabbits and a full bag of 50 pound bag of uh, rabbit food and this little pet carrying case for ten dollars. Deal on Craigslist. The guy just lost heart, he said. Just didn't want to do it. So, we benefited. So I wanted to show you that. Thank you, God. Okay, this is our mama, and I think she may be pregnant with babies that should be due on June 11th. Um, but since we are new to this whole rabbitry stuff, um, I guess we'll kind of figure that out more as time goes on. And this would be Daddy. Now these are both kind of mutt rabbits. They're, um, he looks like he's got a little bit of Californian in him somewhere along the line, but who knows. We actually got these two, um, neither one are purebred or anything for meat rabbits. They're both big rabbits, and we were told this one has 
some Flemish giant in her, but who knows whether that's true or not either. She's a decent sized rabbit, so I guess we'll see. I'm kind of learning as we go. But we're in the process of putting up another rabbit hutch that my husband has built because we did find some other rabbits. And these are very nice hutches. Okay, and here's the beginnings of our second rabbit hutch. Um, he does bury it, covers the legs there, and um, kind of buries them a little bit in the ground like this one. But we got them under this beautiful tree here. So they've got shade and they get a nice breeze. Because we do have some new additions to our rabbit tree. We're going to use this in here eventually for maybe like a grow out area. But there's our male. He is a purebred registered New Zealand. And there's our three Californian girls. And this is just our old dilapidated barn that we've got to do some repairs on, but the rest of it's kind of fallen down, but this section is still somewhat sturdy. But before we keep animals in here on a permanent basis, we've got a lot of work to do. But we got the opportunity to get these. We paid $5 for him. As you can see, we got stuff on top of these hanging wire cages because the roof is a little on the leaky side. But we needed a place to put them. And we had to get them when they were available. So now my husband's scrambling around and um, getting these extra hutches built. So and we got all three of those registered tattooed ears um, for ten dollars. Three of them. What a bargain. Good Lord was looking down on us, I do believe. This will give you a little bit better idea um, exactly where we're going to we've got a, a plan to build at least Right now it'll be three of these rabbit hutches. This is our dilapidated old bar. So actually a dilapidated old lean-to, but this section here is still somewhat together, so it needs a lot of work, but we're giving the rabbits a a lot better housing right through here. And how's that look comfortable? <laughs> These three are sisters, I guess. Um, they've always been in the same cage together, the guy said. Loving on your girls. 